Uh, thank you, future Speaker McCarthy. You know, I've hosted 16 delegations at the border. I've hosted Kevin McCarthy three times. And what you see is change is coming. And change is going to be led by the people standing right here. It's Thanksgiving week. People are doing a lot of different things. And what are House Republicans doing? We're going to the epicenter of the border crisis, and we're highlighting two things. One, highlighting the men and women in green that are work, rolling up their sleeves and fighting every day for this country to keep it safe. Two, we're, hiding, we're highlighting the failures of this administration. On Thanksgiving week, we have to be thankful for a lot of things. Yeah. Kevin McCarthy mentioned the suicides, 14 suicides. This is historic. It's no longer migrants that are dying at the border, it's Americans. And those Americans are wearing green uniforms. Rocky Seriano, here, here in El Paso, recently committed suicide. This is an epidemic. This, is, this, should, this should get us all united. You know, tomorrow is going to be the six-month anniversary of Uvalde. And what people don't realize is Uvalde went into lockdown. The schools in Uvalde went into lockdown 48 times before that school violence occurred. 48 times. Guess what? I see that same occurrence happening all over the district. Change is coming. I, yeah, that day, I host, uh, a week later, I hosted the President of the United States. And I pulled him aside. And I said, Mr. President, now isn't the time. But I would like to visit with you in the White House to see how Republicans and Democrats can work together to secure this border. My staff has called the White House every week since then. I urge the, the Biden administration, please work with the House Republican leadership to secure this border because lives are on the line. You know, these 16 border trips, they've, they've been to talk about security. You know what we're not talking about, which, which I wish we would? Commerce and trade. Guess what? There's so much more that El Paso has to offer the world. Reshoring, you know, taking stuff from that's happening in China, reshoring it to the United States and our partners in Mexico. We don't have those discussions. Why? Because our border is wide open and people are dying every single day. These are the discussions I wish we would have in Congress. But it starts somewhere. Change is coming. That change is now. That change does not happen without those that are willing to roll up their sleeves and fight for it. With that, I'd like to introduce my good friend, Dr. Brian Babin. Yay.